Hey guys, it's Nathan and Danica from The Ticket to Travel. You guys have been leaving some really great suggestions of trip ideas in the comments and we encourage you to always give more. We have some great, out of the way, out of the ordinary trip ideas. And today we would like to offer you guys five epic trip ideas. We have put together five epic trip ideas all of which we wish to take in the near future and feel that these are really amazing trip ideas. As well, all of these trips can be done on a relative budget, but why we call them epic trips is not only are they amazing, but each trip spans over a thousand kilometers of the globe. We're going to be showing you with our favorite iOS map app, Galileo Pro. We love the app because you can record a trip so that you don't get lost coming back. Also, you're able to put bookmarks very easily in different places and customize your maps. You're able to have a line to help you return back to your uh, accommodation. It is ideal for wherever you go as an offline iOS map app. Epic trip ideal one, the Asian Arsenal. Best taken in winter, this trip for the first time in 2016 is accessible by a brand new highway in Southeast Asia. India, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Laos. For this trip you can fly into Delhi, go down to Kolkata, across Bangladesh or up to Siliguri and then up to the brand new IMT highway which connects India, Myanmar and Thailand, hence IMT. Now this is brand new just opening up in 2016 which goes down through here down to the border here and then it crosses down into Mandalay on this map it doesn't even show that there's a highway there yet but it is there and is being opened up in pieces then you can go down to Yangon Myanmar go through to Bangkok into Cambodia then up the coast of Vietnam through Laos and then if you want to fly out from Bangkok, that's one of the cheapest places to fly out from there. How cool is that? Epic trip idea number two, Cowboys and Giants. Go to the Calgary Stampede in the month of July, check out the amazing Rocky Mountains of British Columbia and the giant trees of the Redwood Forest in California. So for this trip, you will be coming into the city of Calgary, which is a good place to start if you come in the month of July. There is a huge rodeo called the Calgary Stampede, lots of cowboy stuff, horses, lots of fun. You can drive or take a bus um, down in through the Rocky Mountains. You can see Banff, which is not far from Calgary, beautiful area. Um, you can go up to Jasper. Uh, you can also check out Lake Louise. So much to see here in these mountains. Um, travel down to Vancouver and across the border into Washington, America, and take this drive all the way down the coast. This is a beautiful drive all the way down. You go into to see the redwood forest, which has some of the biggest and oldest trees in the world. It's amazing. You can keep driving down the coast, up into San Francisco, lots to see there, and keep heading down into Los Angeles. Lots of fun stuff to do, lots of beautiful beaches, you can check out Hollywood. Keep driving down into San Diego and check out the zoo. San Diego Zoo is world famous and a lot of fun. Trip idea number three, the Eurasian epic. Why is it epic? not only because of its name, but this trip takes you past the deepest lake in the world, through the nomadic lands of Mongolia, across Siberia on the longest train ride available on the planet. The core of this trip is from Beijing up into Mongolia, up across Siberia into Moscow. Now you have a few options from this. You can choose to take for about 200 euros more uh, a one-way train trip. So this is Trans-Siberian Railway you have taken and then you can go from Moscow, 
through Belarus, Poland, Germany, uh, I think a bit through Belgium, into France and up into London. You can fly in or out of London. Or you can start your trip all the way down in Singapore. Take the train up. Between Singapore and Thailand is less than $100 for transportation, I believe. Singapore, Malaysia, uh, and then up into Bangkok from there. You can go through Cambodia, Vietnam. There's a train through Vietnam and then connects to you to Shanghai. There's a, those, one of those bullet trains between Shanghai and Beijing. And then from there, you can start your Trans-Siberian uh, Railway Epic. If you want to keep the cost down, don't buy international tickets. Just buy tickets to the border, cross the border yourself, get a Mongolia ticket, cross the border yourself, and then go through Russia. This is Trans-Siberian Railway. You potentially could go all the way from here to here to here in one trip. Epic trip ID number four, the Middle Eastern floating boat. Experience the culture of the Middle East, the food from Lebanon and Israel and Jordan, the beautiful countryside. You can float in the Dead Sea, take a ferry across into Turkey. This trip I personally find very exciting, discovering a little bit of the Middle East. So first of all, flying into Lebanon, into Beirut, and from Beirut you can come down to the southern part of Lebanon, first going into the northern part of Israel, then crossing over into Jordan. You can go check out the Dead Sea, swim in the Dead Sea over there and head down, check out Petra, which is a very beautiful, interesting place. And coming all the way down to the south, and down here there is a bay, right near the Saudi Arabia border called Tala Bay. You can go swimming there in the Red Sea. Coming back into the south part of Israel, all the way up into Jerusalem, check out lots of history there, and then head over to Tel Aviv, and fly from Tel Aviv up into Turkey and you can go up here into Istanbul check out lots of the country lots of beautiful sites lots of country to uh, culture to explore and then head down here to the south part of Turkey and you can take a ferry across back into Lebanon into Beirut and fly back home epic trip idea five the European yodel and bauble. It is amazing because you go through the high mountains of the Alps down to the beautiful beaches of Croatia. You can fly to Munich, which is at the point of the, our little starfish. And then from there you can go down into the Austrian Alps. Beautiful area all in here. If you fly or arrive in Germany in October, we got the Oktoberfest. Now you can go down through from Austria through Slovenia into Croatia um, to some of the most amazing beaches right here in Split and that will take you like four hours drive there and if you choose you can go through Italy as well from the end of the boot up to the knee and back to Munich. You probably know about Ryanair the airplane fleet that centers in Dublin but it goes all around Europe for 20 30 euros and there's also also EasyJet which does Europe different places than Ryanair usually it also does a bit of the Middle East and um, you know centers in London now you can fly for 20 30 euros one way to Iceland as well that you could throw that in this epic European yodel in the Alps and bobble in the sea of Croatia. Potentially you could be yodeling and bobbling in Iceland as well. Thanks for watching guys. Remember to like and subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have anything positive to contribute to this video. If you have any suggestions, trip ideas, anything like that. Thank you.